The Instacart Road Show is underway. Reports of a valuation of less than $10 billion is a big drop from prior funding rounds. And that's the focus of today's Tech Check with Deirdre Bosa. Morning, Dee. Morning, Carl. It is a massive down round from that $39 billion that it was valued at just a few years ago. It won't come as a surprise for the already public tech companies that have also seen their market caps crater over the last few years. But for still private startups, this should be a major wake-up call. Some of the largest unicorns, like Stripe, they've already taken their medicine and done rounds at lower valuations or marked themselves down internally. But others, like Chime, GoPuff, Discord, Plaid, they have not, and they will have to take a hard look at Instacart's IPO. Let's put this in context, though. Key question when any company goes public is, what is it? And therefore, how do you value it? What kind of multiple do you give it? Is Instacart a grocery, gig, advertising, e-commerce company, or some combination of the above? The valuation range does give us some clues. Investors, they will get a discount to what is seen as its closest comp, DoorDash. A $9.3 billion market cap for Instacart implies an enterprise value of about two and a half times its last 12 months revenue. That compares to about three and a half times for DoorDash and three times for Uber. Instacart may be more profitable than both thanks to that advertising business, but it is also growing its top line significantly slower. Still nearly 40% sales growth last year, and its tech put Instacart's multiple well ahead of players in mature industries like grocery and advertising agencies. So that is Instacart, and we know the gig space has not been particularly kind to long investors over the years. So IPO candidates, they'll also be watching Arm, Clavio very closely. Arm reportedly considering raising its price range on strong demand. Clavio, though, looks like another down round here, guys. It's pricing its IPO below $9 billion, and that compares to about $9.5 billion in a July 22 funding round. So in July 2022, some of the air had come out of valuations in the private market as well. But this kind of shows you that there may be still room for private companies to mark themselves down. Interesting, too, D. Uh, this upgrade of Dash today over at Jeffries, they go to 90 uh, on the idea that the look at cart is helping the street realize maybe it's underestimating the profitability of the model. Yeah, that's right, because remember that Dash and I would also add Uber are moving into the advertising space. This is a higher margin business. And maybe, you know, I, I go back to when Uber went public. We had never had a gig company and people didn't know where to value it. Um, and it sort of trades around that $45 range, 48 now, but 45 is where it went public. So it didn't really reach those expectations. But I don't think anyone at the time really saw advertising as a big business. And what Instacart shows you is that it can be. It's high margin. It can kind of change those unit economics. But still, that ever present question, is this a good business? This is around the edges. You're still using a lot of capital to pay shoppers in the case of Instacart and now DoorDash and Uber as they move into groceries and drivers, of course. Yeah, we'll see if, uh, if advertising changes that game. A great discussion, Dee.